uh, you got that question from Mike, I will definitely show you how to do that. Until they finally implement the new system of uh, paying with only BTC, for now bank withdrawals are still going through. So all I want to beg is, um, let's say for instance, just take a minute and imagine an entrepreneur that you deeply respect. Think about that person at the start of his or her career, just think. Because most of the things we, we, we actually panic about and the rest, if you must succeed, there are a whole lot of things that come, even if it is your own business you are running, even if it is your own business that you are running, there are a lot of people where we actually envy, we like them, you know, their way of life. And there are a lot of persons who are making a whole lot of money online, whether through their YouTube channel, through, through their blog, through the product they are selling and the rest. But the truth is, have you ever imagined, can you take a moment and imagine or even go to, close to these persons and ask, you know, those you think that are successful in one way or the other, go close to them and ask them how they have gotten to where they are. So even if it is your own business that you are going to do, definitely before you get your break even, before you get to your break even, there must be some challenges along the way. So I'm not in any way using this to say that um, uh, you should forget your money and just walk away and the rest. But we were expecting that every 10 to 12 days we'll be withdrawing our money. All of a sudden, the thing turned around. And the only encouragement I have to give everybody here is that the system still exists. You still have access to your back office. And at least if you have started, if your points have started dropping, the 10% of your CHY point, you have access to that. And the consumption point, if you need them, just transfer them. And that is what I was actually suggesting in that video, in the video I uploaded last, that what we should be fighting for if, is, if CHY more has said, okay, you can, your 70% or 40% of whatever you are ending, you are earning from your uh, account, we go into consumption point. They should make this free. Just like they, did, they, are, they are doing with the activation point. I can send activation point to anybody um, irrespective of which service center or which group you are. But that is not the same with the consumption point. So if it is not the same with the consumption point and you are joining a team that cannot, that is not very active in registering new members, what happens to all of your consumption points? What happens to all of your consumption points? So whatever decision you are going to make this night, you, 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 you have to be very sensitive about it and smart about it because any mistake you make now, it is not a company's fault. It is not anybody's fault. It is your own fault. We all have a lot of money in the system and we need to be patient and you know, get to understand what is actually going on and how we can benefit from that. So before I will, I'll give a space for Mr. Dennis, um, to carry on, I will just share my screen now and explain some of the things on um, the back office so that some of us will get clarification. There's someone who chatted me actually um, asking, um, according to the person, whether he or she, I can't really say, um, said that the points, you know what, let me just share the screen now so that will be clear. Share screen, CHY, share. All right, so I'll go to my personal set. Okay, let me go to accounts. All right, so when you click on accounts and you scroll down here, um, amounts need to pay. Actually, the chat I had from that person, and because I just joked with the person that maybe he, he or she was a boss, that was why the amount he or she is supposed to pay is higher than what um, the person is actually calculating. And immediately the person blocked me on WhatsApp. Well, I don't have a problem with that, but I believe some of us will be wondering, when you come here to where it says um, amount to pay, or when you go to the tab where it says uh, advanced credit, if you click on this advanced credit, you will see where it says amount need to pay. And then you will see where it says have paid. And then the new retail advanced credit will be indicated here. 
So if you, are, you were trading already before the upgrade was done, you would definitely get a pending um, advanced credit here if your account is on auto trade. So you get that advanced credit of the new level you upgraded to here. Because presently, if your account is on auto trade, it will be trading on the previous level that you signed up yourself before you upgraded. So if this amount, if you feel or you think that the amount need to pay is higher, I would say just in size patient because the clarification will be done when your auto trade drops. You can only understand this calculation when your auto trade drops and you are not trading on the new level you upgraded to. So it is not as if the amount that is indicated there is higher or more than what you are supposed to pay. So that is what I have to say here because there is no amount of explanation I'm going to give here that will make this clear to you. But if your account is on auto trade, you will not understand whatsoever that is here when you say, when they say a man need to pay until it drops and you're not trading on the new level because when your trade drops automatically, this will, um, uh, the amount that they have paid will increase and you will now be trading with the new um, retail advanced credit. And in one of the communicated release, I mean, all of the communicators say the advanced credit is optional. It is optional wh when you decide that after your auto trade drops, that you are going to buy CHY point to start trading. That is when you, the advanced credit is optional. But in as much as you have been upgraded from one particular level to another, you must use that advanced credit if you don't want to buy additional um, CHY point to trade. That is when it becomes optional. So please, let's take our time and understand some of these things and get a better understanding. So here you'll be seeing the um, amount to pay your consumption limit. The consumption limit is simply the limit of what your account can trade. Why you're seeing 90 years because this account is a VIP2 account. So the VIP2 account cannot be trading a VIP3 product. So the trading product for VIP2 is always 90 points, uh, $90 or something. So that is why you're seeing the consumption limit. And then the amount need to pay, this is the amount you are owing the company that you have to pay. And then the amount you have paid will be this. And if you, your account is on auto trade, as I said earlier, you will see there on the advanced credit. Now, this, uh, see, this was seed point in, initially, but uh, all of a sudden they changed it to active point. So in order to register a new account, basically there are two ways of registering new accounts. So in order to register a new account um, from your own account using the network diagram, if I go to network diagram here and you want to register somebody here, you must have, let's say you want to register the person for a VIP3 account, you must have 70 consumption points in your account and then 30 active points in this account for that registration to go through. Now, if you register the person using the second method, which is using your invitation link, you send the link to the person to register. For that person's account to be activated, you must send from whichever account you want to send, 70% of the co of consumption point, let's say the person is registering um, for VIP3 as well, you must send 70 consumption point and 30 um, active point to that person's account then the person will now be able to go to uh, where it says be a VIP and activate. If the person does not have active point and consumption point, it will not go through. So these are the basic things I want us to understand with the new implementation um, of the CHY mall uh, dashboard or back office so that we can get a better understanding. You don't go and convert your CHY point all to consumption point. And then at the end of the day, you are stranded and you will need to buy this active point if you don't have it. Now for the active point, you can buy it from anybody if the person has it, but majorly is from service center and from um, the company directly. But if I have active point, I can transfer it to anybody, irrespective of whether you are in my team or not. The only thing that is limited is the consumption point. That is why I'm saying here, if you are smart about it, create an account for your son, for your child, for your friend, your grandma, anybody at all, and you'll be using that to be selling your consumption. But while you wait for uh, your loan to be paid, you are using the new account that you have to 
actually start benefiting from what CHY more currently has to offer. So with that being said, I will now hand over to Mr. Dennis and after that we'll take all of your questions. Mr. Dennis, over to you, sir. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I'm thinking, let's just take questions then. Maybe after that, I can now make my remark. All right. So if you have questions, you can just indicate by raising your hand or just use the chat section to ask your question and we'll take it off from there. All right, to attend to Mr. Mike question, how do I uh, purchase activation points by using um, BTC? Uh, first, I will say you reach out to your service, your service center, actually reach out to your service center uh, or ask your team members and to make sure that they have points, this active point, before you talk of purchasing this point from the company directly. But if you want to purchase that from the company directly, all you just need to do is when you log into your account, you go to recharge. And once you click on recharge, here is where you say that, where they say select companies account, just click on it and select. These are the only two accounts you can pay to. Bank is no more allowed here. So you can only use pay using Ethereum or Bitcoin. So let's say we want to pay with Bitcoin. Once you select Bitcoin here, where it says account number, the account number, this is the Bitcoin address of the company. This is where you are going to send the points to. But before you send those points, we are going to say, okay, recharge amount. The recharge amount, let's say you want to register a VIP4 account. A VIP4 account will require 30% of the registration fee. 30% of the registration fee of VIP4, which is 300, will be 90 points. So I just say 90 active points. And then select exchange rate. We are going to scroll down here and select BTC. When you select BTC, this 90 points here, this is the equivalent in Bitcoin. This is what you are going to send. So what this is actually telling you right now is that $90 is this Bitcoin. This Bitcoin now is worth $90. So then the transfer link, uh, after you have done your transaction, that's where you are going to put the transfer li link here. Then the recharge type, you come in here and select whichever you want to buy. You can buy CHY point from the company directly. You can buy consumption point from the company directly. And you can buy active point from the company directly. So in this case, it is active point. You go ahead and select the active point. Once you select the active point, the next thing you want to do is select your country. Go ahead and select the country where you are sending this from. And after you send this Bitcoin, the Bitcoin you are going to send using your Bitcoin wallet, whatever Bitcoin exchange or Bitcoin wallet you are using, just copy this and then copy the amount the way it is here and paste on your wallet. And once you send it, uh, you go, you are going to put in your Bitcoin, the transfer link here, the link from the exchange you are using. That will be generated from the exchange you are, you are using. Just paste the link here and then get a screenshot of the uh, transaction you just made. Get a screenshot and upload the screenshot here. And then you put in your payment password and click on recharge. Once you click on recharge, this will be keen. If you come to your recharge record, you'll see every of the recharge you made. And once the company approves it, you will get this point. But this take time. So that's why I say you should actually, um, it's not something that is automated that you can get immediately. So it's, uh, instead of going through this long process and getting worried at the end of the day, reach out to your service center or to team members. Because even if you have someone in UK or US, the person has an active point, the person can send that point to you. There's no limit when it comes to transferring point, the active point. So basically, I hope that is understandable enough for Mr. Mike and every other person who wanted that. Okay, Ebele Okoye is saying, can someone use consumption points from one team to register another team? Well, right now, if you join from the beginning of this meeting, as I said, the only point you can transfer from one team to another is the active point. But for the consumption point, no. For now, you can't use consumption point um, from your own uh, 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 um, from your own uh, team to register with another team. 
But what we help do is, if you have to do that, um, we can actually help uh, get your point transfer um, using um, um, which platform you want to register with, and then get this point registered um, activated on that particular. Team. So that we can help you do that. But for now, you can transfer a point from one particular team or downline to um, to another. So if there is no other questions, if there is no contributions, I guess we all understood what I've explained so far. And it is now left for you. The ball is now in your court. So you can decide what to do with it and the rest. All right. Mba, mba chu. Sorry if I get that right. So just go ahead and unmute yourself and um, ask your question or make your contribution, please. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, uh, I just came in now. And, uh, I missed this uh, lovely uh, tutorial you're just giving. But uh, if I... I get to know the times and the periods you, you give these uh, seminars, I would be very much uh, interested. If you have a daily something or it's just occasional. However, please, uh, maybe it's out of place, but uh, I just want to know the promo that was just finished, uh, the household promo, are those who qualify uh, uh, does the company have a way to know those who qualify or uh, is there anything expected from us to do those who qualify? Uh, do we need to send uh, perhaps uh, information to them? Or, but I know uh, as a company, they should have records, you know, of those who qualify or do we have to do something? I just want to know, sorry. Hello? Yes, I, I, I get that. Um, yes. As regards that, I equally thought initially that the company was supposed to automatically detect those who qualified, but while the upgrade was going on, um, some persons were awarded anyway, those who qualified were awarded, but all you need to do to actually um, get the response from the company is that you will need to send, a, there was a form that was circulated where you have to put in your username, um, the, the, the username, the account that was qualified for that, you need to put in the username, then you have to put in the amount of persons that were registered, the amount itself, if it is uh, five persons, that is 500 and the rest. So once you fill in those form and then put in date, you send it to the customer care. So please uh, which ask in the group, ask in the group, uh, so that yeah. form will be forwarded to you. So you just okay, fill... You just fill the form. Once you fill in the form, you can afford it to customer care. So customer care will not take it off from there and let you know how you are qualified. So Dennis is actually typing in the information, the details you have to fill. Once you fill in these details, just send it to the um, customer care and they will be the one to take it off from there. Okay, so it will. Are you uh, uh, have information now? WhatsApp, isn't it? And then uh, I have phone number. Sorry, I didn't get that. I said, uh, will I have the, I don't have the, the form that we are circulated. I check the chat, check the chat here. When you check, look oh. at the chat, uh, it has been typed here. The information you need has been typed here. So okay. all you have to do is fill in this information. Once you fill in this information, send it to this number that is equally attached here. And okay. uh, I'll be the one to um, award you for that. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. All right, so thank you so much. Thank you everyone for being this this meeting today. If there is no other question, 
If there's no other question, if there's no other contribution, then I uh, will hand over to Mr. Dennis before we call it a day. All right. Um, good evening, everybody. And um, happy new year once again. I am saying happy new year once again as a result of the latest development that we just had. You know, the back and forth, the, uh, the back and forth, pardon me, the panic, um, the scares, and everything that, you know, that took place over the last couple of days. And um, it's actually a new dawn in CHY. And I believe that going forward with uh, the current state of, of uh, things, I hope that we can all take advantage of what is happening now and uh, get our network, you know, even better and stronger than it used to be. You know, the thing is, before that upgrade that happened a couple of days ago, you know, just as uh, uh, Mr. Leonard rightly said, as it is now, we have different categories of people in this system. And for those that are benefiting now, there are two categories of people that are already benefiting from this speech right now. The first category of people are the people who are just registering now. All right? Because whatever it is that happened with the upgrade and everything, it does not affect them. So they are making their money you know, in the in the structure that the company just produced, which is if you want to cash out, unless of course you're doing P2P. If you're doing P2P, you get your money 100%. You know, you have 100 uh, CHY points, you want to send to somebody, you, you get to send the 100 CHY points to that person, the person pays you for that 100 CHY points. You have uh, 100 consumption points you want to send to uh, a downline or your offline, the person pays you for 100 percent, uh, 100 consumption points. You have 100 of activation points. The person pays you. But if you're making a withdrawal through the company, that is when all those you know relevant charges will be applicable. This is the 10 percent service charge, the 20 percent compuls uh, compulsory uh, uh, consumption points quota that will be applicable. Then you cannot get 70 percent in CHY. This is applicable to those that will be going to the service center. So, and a lot of you know, people that, are, you know, a lot of things that are active, which was what brought about the issue of seed point, because the money was, money was no longer going to the company. Yes. Everything was just revolving around members, wow. members. I need, I need 1,000 CHY point. I just bought the uh, Mr. Lena, Mr. Lena. At least 1,000 CHY right point. Uh, he will just ask, uh, give me some few minutes, let me check. Quickly get back to his system, check. Like, okay, I can only afford 600. It's only 600 I have now. Send 600 to me. I bought Mr. Nicola. I bought Mr. Okay, Mbatu. Uh, before you knew it, I already got that 1,000 now. Nobody was making, you know, recourse to the, there was no There was no cost going back to the service center. Do you understand? So the money was just flowing amongst. So I think, and you know, for sustainability sake, as the company rightly put it in the communique, there has to be, you know, it is when you're, you're using a machine or, you know, and you need to cost, constantly grease and order that, that engine. Otherwise, it gets, it gets, you know, worked up. It gets worked out. So that is what brought about the whole concept of seed point as well as the consumption point. Do you get? So it's going to be that no matter how you do it, a portion of your registration fee would go into the company's coffer in the, in the, uh, you know, in the name of activation point. This means that the company has devised to ensure that there is, you know, at least no money introduced into the system. For those of us that work in the bank, you would say, uh, CBN is is same capitalization. You have to be 25 billion, you know, 50 billion, whatever it is now. And you still discover that even if you have met your target, 
there's still room for you to go get more deposit, more deposit, more deposit. There has to be money coming into the system so that mm -hmm. the system can keep, you know, expanding and getting bigger. So I think that was the whole concept behind the introduction of what the, you know, the, the company just did over a couple of days ago. So instead of us to, you know, be, you know, be sad or be hard on ourselves about, about it, we should see it as an opportunity to get even better and stronger. Okay? So the other category of people that I was talking about earlier are people who have a larger network. Do we understand? Because for some, when they did that upgrade, they had enough points in their wallet to even take care of the upgrade. Do you understand? So even before they are, before they are trade drops, they already offset a portion of the, of the credit advance. All right? So for those categories of people now, the company is saying for you, for your accounts to, to normalize, you would, have, you, you would have done a minimum of 10, 15 to 20 trades. But I can say it for a fact that there are people that would take less than five rounds of trades for their accounts to be normalized. And what happens to those ones? That means they begin to enjoy from that time, of, you know, going forward. So as I said, it's just an avenue for us to, you know, you know, get busy and get other people involved and see how we can take this from here. So that's basically what uh, I have to say for now. Thank you very much. Thank you, All right, thank you so much for that awesome summit, Mr. Dennis. And I believe with this, we should be able to know how to go back to business. The year is just starting afresh and there are a whole lot of things you can you know, get yourself involved in and actually get going. So, okay, before we go off, someone is raising his hand, please go ahead and mute yourself and make your input, please. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello? Yes, good evening. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yes. My, my question is, uh, in one of the communiques, there's this thing that uh, your account will go back to normal after 20 trades. That was before the last communique came out. And uh, I read something there in the last communique that said this one supersedes every other one. And that this point I'm asking now did not appear in the last communique. What well, is it that they have removed that clause again of uh, after 20 trades, your account will now go back to normal? No, they, they haven't. They haven't. Which number of communique, which one did you read last that you didn't see that? The, the one that... Uh, has just few points, about three points that just came out. Well, that haven't changed. After ago. after you finish paying your loan, after you finish paying your loan, uh, you yes. have uh, traded for yeah. 20, 20 times. That is, if you are doing auto trade, that is 200 days. Um, and then if you are doing manual trade, that should be 12 by 20. Then your account can return to normal and you start getting 100% of your CHY points. And the only thing that will be applied is the ten percent um, service charge fee that you'll be paying. So that still applies; it, it has not changed yet. Okay, thank you. So, if there is no other question, no other contribution, we we'll have to call it a day. And for those of you who don't know, our meetings are. Um, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. I think that for Ghana, Ghanaians, that should be 7 p.m. For UK, 7 p.m. But Nigerian time is 8 p.m. And we normally have these meetings on Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. So thank you so much for attending today's meeting. And we'll meet again on Monday. <laughs>